Let's change approach now and go to a, a very interesting subject too, and this is um, arpeggios, again, that I would like to extend as a speech. Because we could improvise also in another way, like using, for instance, superimposition of thirds. If I am in C, like I am here, I play this special voicing that is especially good on the piano because there is no doubling. Uh, it means there is only one C, that's the root, one third, one sixth, one ninth. This sounds good. sounds good because also there is a lot of room between the notes. When the intervals are quite are, are wide, like in this case, the piano, the instrument sounds better. This is very, comes very much from the orchestra. If you if you uh, score this for a big band, this sounds good because there is kind of room between the, the, the note that form the chord. But this is another thing. I was trying now to focus on the possibility to improvise by thirds. I show you. This means first C, six, nine. Then E flat seven. A flat major seven. Superimposition of thirds. What I mean that is that okay, you can also consider the scales. But I would suggest to use, instead of this in mind, the arpeggios. Now I would try to improvise basically using this kind of uh, different approach by thirds. <laughs> 